Oh, shit. You guys got the fucking blooper reel here. It's Rusty Diamond, motherfucker. Yo, man. I guess you think so. Boom, Miss Rusty. I'm not having trouble at all with this uh, podcast number three today. This welcome to the podcast, the public access podcast here on the Quantum Global Broadcasting Network, QGBN. I'm your host, Rusty Diamond, and uh, you can check out other great shows on here that I co-host, such as When the Gloves Come Off, the Thinky Man's Pro Wrestling Podcast. This is it with Lizzie and Say by the Ben, which this guest has been on. Um, actually, he's been on this show too, maybe twice, but it's been a long time, probably like eight years. Uh, and this is brought to you by Stoner Eats Productions, Fred Ben Savage as fuck, Hardcore Entertainment, Hypnosis is Great, and Sockemup.org. So, since I can't do technical stuff right, I hope I can talk right. I'm going to bring out my special guest right here, right now. We have the Jamie Stewart. Hi Jamie there. Stewart. Hi there. Uh, a little bit. How about yourself, man? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. I'm high. Yeah, that's what you asked if I was high, right? Right, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, yeah, that's okay. what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah a little bit. A little bit, a little bit uh yeah dude thank you for being here man uh and thank you for having me yeah man uh holy cow uh i think i got that um i'm having technical difficulties with myself more than anything so that's good it's I just feel that. yeah i i think uh I'm, I'm figuring out what i can and can't do so you know you, you right do on. it yeah you do it until you keep doing it until you, you like what you're doing, I guess. I don't know. Right. And then if not, then you don't do it. And yeah. Right. You do, so, you're like, oh, yeah. I mean, don't want to do it when you don't want to do it. No, and, no. As soon as it becomes a chore or, or a job, uh, it starts feeling like that. You just it, you want to walk away from it for a while at least. Yeah. It's I think what I think that yeah. I think that's what happened to me. I just got I just got bored. I got bored with the format and uh I wanted to change things up and I then I didn't and then uh lost track work and stuff. It just came at you, man. Like yeah, I mean it, it's I mean that's happened with this one too, and it's just I got like I don't wanna do this right now, man. I don't there's i don't know right it was, I, I it's like i have so much to say but nothing to say at the same time and uh and nothing that i wanted to share with anyone uh, except well, what would be the point of every day being like well here's another day uh <laughs> doing the same exact thing i was doing yesterday except i changed my shirt you know and right. uh yeah so I, I i stepped away i stepped away that's one of the only reasons why i changed my shirt is uh so now I do more podcasts, so I change my shirt more often than I would. So it looks otherwise. like a brand new day. Brand, yeah. Right. Yeah. I got to make sure I change it or else people are going to start noticing that, <laughs> oh, hey, Rusty's wearing the same clothes over and over and over. And, uh, you know, just trying to be eco friendly here. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you're still, are you doing uh, the uh, FCK? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, we're still doing uh, FCK, full contact karaoke. Um, we do that about once every other month at a, at a bar in Portland. And um, it's fun. It's uh, We're still going strong. We still give out uh, great prizes. Uh, it's courtesy of our buddies that go fuck yourself. I don't know if I could say that. Uh, um, no, there's no com. swearing on here. 
Okay. Uh, no, uh, fuck. But, um, but uh, so, yeah, fuckhead. Uh, but yeah, Jesse yeah. Lindsay, he makes our prizes. Um, and uh, yeah, I could show you one right now. Uh, custom butt plugs. Um, Wonderful. And this one is no stairway to heaven. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But what, yeah, so yeah, that's what we do. If I, oh, was there a, a Jamie Stewart face on one of those at one time? Or am I making yeah, that yeah. up? Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, Kenny's my buddy Kenny and I. Uh, we had our faces look like we were crawling out of someone's uh, <laughs> anus. So you know. Yeah. Which is which is good, man. Which is <laughs> right fun. off the bu- right yeah. off the bucket list. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Getting to crawl up someone's ass and dude, you know, I still wear my shirts. I still have a number of them and uh, yeah. I, I always get comments on them whenever I, I wear them out. So. Um, yeah, man, I, I I always enjoyed that. It was fun, and they were fun. Uh, yeah, and then uh, yeah, and then your show. I mean, was uh, I think one of the first shows I was on was was your uh, at the at the Schmacken. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Back when we were yeah. sponsored by uh, the waffle food cart. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I mean, that you. was a decade ago because yeah. it was it was Jesus. right before I moved to yeah. idaho and that was august 2013 holy crap you're right you're right yeah wow yeah it yeah. was oh my god yeah man, we're like we're like fine wine sir that's right absolutely the finest wine the uh, finest wine you could find at winco yeah i mean we're, yeah. we're the we're the fancy wine packaged in the uh franzia uh, box Yes, but we're we're the we're the fancy wine inside of there. That yeah, with the space bag that you drink enough and then you leave a little bit so you can use it as a pillow. Beautiful, know? yes. Uh the fucking magical pillow right there of yes of Franzia. That was uh, an important lesson to learn, man. The uh, yeah. The, yeah, those yeah, are some when, hard nights. Uh, they were some hard nights, <laughs> but a little softer with that nice pillow. Uh, right, the right. nice space bag pillow. Indeed uh shit man yeah um so but now you're doing the how'd you get on the the shady pines radio how'd that come about um i i uh they they were looking for looking for show ideas um uh right around the beginning of the pandemic um and i was like hey i have a stupid little show um i play music i do i talk to people every now and then and uh and i play music and i say things out of my mouth hole and uh they're like oh okay uh and they listen to a couple of my episodes and they're like yeah come on on we'll give you an hour and now here i am almost i live it's almost three years later on the show and now i have a two-hour show once a week and uh yeah it's fun so it's fun what do, what do you do for two hours I, I, I talk about my week. Um, I, 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 I promote what I'm doing. If I'm having shows, I promote other people's shows. I uh, talk to people every now and then. And uh, I have themes. Sometimes, if I'm not talking to anyone, I have themes. And I try to stick to that theme. Like today was a uh, alt country, whatever that might mean. Um, mm-hmm. Next week will be a Dr. Demento-ish uh, shout out to just a silly, fun song that uh new and old um but yeah it, uh it's it's basically like a two-hour podcast with uh on the radio with 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 songs that i control uh because we we pay our licensing and uh so we can get away with it so that's why it's not a podcast so yeah so Less what, what are, are your song limitations um anything whatever you no. want whatever i want fcc free or um and uh, because we yeah, have they pay their licensing they shout out to shady pines radio brian and callie uh they they knew they know what they're doing uh, because i've been on a couple different uh internet radio stations uh local even and they, they just they weren't a good fit they they were just uh they didn't know what they were doing these guys they they seem to know what they're doing we were nominated in willamette week for best radio station we have a music fest, second music festival coming up uh, this summer. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, three nights festival, uh, camping and all that out, out in Oregon City. Where um, at in Oregon City? Uh, oh, man. 
Oh, you have me on the spot, but I will oh, tell you. Yes. But I will tell you in a, in a little bit. Uh, we'll, right. we'll, we'll shut off the camera, and I will look it up, and we will give uh, promotion for that. Because cool. it's, it, it's it's fun. It's a bunch of local artists for the most part, um, and uh, it's like a, a Oregon city ish Woodstock with you know, without the uh, brown acid and and setting the uh, urinals on fire. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes you got to do that. You, you got to do it sometimes. Sometimes you just got to, you know, you, you, you got to do it all for the nookie sometimes. Right. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, yeah. come on, you know, and there's uh, you know, about the uh, the festival. I forgot what it was called. I want to say. Shit. What was it? Um, at was it a McIver Park back in? I want to say 1972. It was like the Woodstock. Um, yes oh but they, but they I, some with i want to say the vortex but it's not the vortex but they did it um the same time that i believe they're they having the republican national convention in town yeah and it so was they did like this the governor free. elect or something like that that did it he was like hey guys yeah. i'm hip and all that and well, uh and it also stopped all them from uh fucking with the Republican National Convention. So right. it's like free concert out here, out right. in uh, whatever yeah, it said out there. I, I, remember, I remember hearing about that. It was like, it was our own version of Woodstock. And uh, yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. That's good history right there. Good, yeah. good call. Good call. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I think my folks went to that. Um, they got tricked. They got tricked out there. I think they went with my, I think my grandparents actually went as well. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Back um, way back then, my mom was a hippie. My mom was a hippie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She uh, and she used to try to tell us that she never smoked pot, and and she wasn't a hippie. She hated fucking hippie, dirty hippies. <laughs> and uh, and uh, and then you know, we mentioned it once to my grandmother, and uh, she's like, no, no, let me show you some things. And uh, she showed me pictures of my mom burning her bra, and uh, you know fist up in the air and uh just, you know <laughs> concerts and all that and then towards the end of my mom's life we went to roger waters and uh uh oh, cool paul mccartney and just yeah we we saw things and, and then you know every time i bragged about seeing some band from the 90s i'm like i saw nirvana mom <laughs> and she's like yeah i saw beatles how are you i'm like Fuck, we were just but, and then she listed off every other band that she saw and uh and i'm like you know what i, I don't want to talk about it anymore i, I didn't see anyone of see any significance uh in my life i swear so was she from portland Did she go to when they were here in 1964 yep, i believe yep. yeah my great uh, my dad, mom was my, there too yeah my dad her uh, uh her dad not my dad that'd be strange uh that'd be a whole other topic um <laughs> but uh my grandpa he knew someone at old kissin radio station and uh she was at the press conference she used to have slides so there's somewhere um no i don't have them um but there were slides of of the press conference at the uh, at the memorial coliseum or something like that and uh and she was like i was front row i'm like you know <laughs> fuck off <laughs> yeah you, so and did it, you oh go ahead no no i that's about it yeah so at those shows, I heard that the Beatles shows always smelled like piss. That's yeah, even my mom confirmed that she uh, she's like, and she didn't understand that. She's like, I've never liked anything enough to piss myself. Um, it's crazy. Yeah, she, she said that that girls were pissing and and squirting, I guess, and coming and and flipping and sliding and and then doing all that kind of stuff, and the seats were literally wet. And, <laughs> I can't even imagine. I mean, I, I, it's 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 disturbing in a way, but it's like, ah, we made these people pee. Well, I don't know what that means. I don't even know how to take that. Yeah, um, and I, it's fucking mind blowing. I don't know how that happens. What you have to do, like, what I kind of know. presence that is. <laughs> I don't know if it would happen anymore. I don't know if it. I, 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 it's. I, I think that. Yeah, I mean, it might happen, but those are some few and far betweens. And we're like, oh, shit, I had an accident type of thing. Spill the rest of the Pepsi on me. Um, right. <laughs> it make it look like I didn't piss. Um, but, yeah, no, it's just I can't even fathom how not only just the cleanup of <laughs> of those venues, but the, the, like you said, the smell and just the. Uh, and how do you go home? 
and explain this to your parents right. and, 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 and your friends. What if you were that one friend where like, what the <laughs> fuck is happening? You know, you're, you have no idea. You're like, okay, I can't even hear the music, but you're just pissed yourself. I don't get it. And uh, yeah, so I, uh, you know, goals, goals, you know, one of these days, you know, yeah. hopefully I can make someone pissed himself. I hope so uh, through your radio show. That, you that would can. be fantastic. Yeah. Um, so are they, are you going to do uh, any like live shows of your, uh, your radio, radio show? show? I probably will. Um, eventually. I, I keep telling people I'm going to do it. Um, and now that the club that I worked at is closing down, they, they're, they're crap. Um, oh my God, they're in trouble. But uh, they, they that little pub that was right next to it uh, was a fantastic place. And uh, we, we were going to do it there and then it got shut down. And, uh, and then once again, life happened and I never, I never got back to it, but I would love to, I would love to. We could have you on via satellite. Yeah. Via satellite, man. Just put, yeah. Uh, yeah throw me up there. Uh, you know, yeah. It's uh it's cool, you know, all the all the shit that you can do now with with that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. just, you know, so much, even so much more than we could do just like ten years ago. Just, yeah, uh, yeah. We don't need all of the, the mixing boards and all that now. All we need is what a phone. It pretty much that's. Ex yeah, yeah. I had a whole bunch of fucking equipment. I bought like, uh, yeah, a mixing board. I bought a nice mic. I bought. Um, you know, nice studio headphones. I've got the fucking windscreen and everything. Yeah. I got a whole bunch of paneling. And then I put on these fucking things that cost $22. Um, plug it right into my computer. And it sounds and is better. It sounds than, amazing. It sounds amazing. It's like, fuck. Yeah. It's <laughs> just, uh, yeah. It's after ridiculous. All, yeah. Carrying all that shit around. For, yeah. But I mean just 10 years ago you had to carry all that or more around yeah. i mean and then if you were like zola and i back in the day riding the bus and everything carting that everywhere we went um it's amazing we, we put on live shows but we did it um yeah it was fun i haven't done a live show like that i mean i do comedy shows but i haven't done a live show where it was just a variety show that's what it was that's anytime it was just us sitting around bullshitting <laughs> eating waffles um and I want to I want to sit around and eat waffles with you again, my friend. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah. yeah, I spoke with. Um, uh, God damn it. Oh, my God. With Vanessa. I spoke with Vanessa like a few days ago. Uh, or a <laughs> How's she ago. doing? How's she doing? She's doing pretty well. Um, yeah, it was good. To, good to hear from her. And, you know, that's brought me right back to that time of. Uh, yeah, back at the the waffle right. stand with Man. with everyone, and um, those were good yeah, times. Yeah, and it's crazy. It was that long ago, and you know things uh, yeah. things evolve. I, I just saying it out loud that it was that long ago. It's like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, we had fun though. I mean, I, I'm still in touch with basically everyone that was ever on that show. Um, yeah, yeah. I think, uh, except for my ex. I mean, we talk when it comes to my my our daughter, but other than that, yeah. So I just heard about Zola like three days ago. Oh, really? I, I, I so, so here's what happened, because like I'm not on social media or anything. I don't fucking. I haven't been yes. for like two three years. Um, I like, I'll post stuff, but I don't. Right, you don't really pitch in, you, you, yeah, you don't interact. Right, yeah, everything is like not there. It's just all I see on there is uh, like I booking people for podcasts. Um, uh, a Mike Judge page, and then <laughs> the the Portland uh, that Dead Memories page, and that's yeah about all I see. And um, but then so then I was going through and they're like the friend suggestion thing and there was a guy with a guitar and on the back it said uh r.i.p zola and i was like wait what the fuck 
I took that picture. But yeah, that's uh, that's my buddy Chris. He's in a band called Nowhere Fast. But yeah, he knew Zola. Um, yeah, he, it was a sudden thing. I mean, he'd been sick. It was, it was sudden, but it wasn't sudden. Uh, he'd been sick for a while. Um, uh, heart problems, breathing problems. Um, and I mean, he was a big guy. He had big problems. And um, he, whoa, hello. Are you still there? Okay, good. Yep. My phone said low battery. So I'm like, okay, no, I still have time. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, he, uh, it was, I, I remember getting the, the call and, uh, I thought they were fucking with me and, uh, nope, it was real. And, uh, yeah. And I, uh, we never got back together. Uh, I mean, we did, we, we saw each other, uh, but, uh, we never really recorded anything live again. Um, I think the last time we were ever together to record was our, my 420th episode of emotional weather report oh, uh, and, uh, it, oh man it had to have been okay i was still married so I'm like, had to have been uh, four about uh, four it was before the pandemic okay right so like right, right when I, i'd say right before the summer before the pandemic i believe so eight nine, 2018 oh my god what was it because i think i the last thing i did with you, I did a uh, an FCK right before I moved, yeah. and that was March twenty nineteen. Yeah, and and Zola was there. It was at the uh, then it was, it was right when the Ash Street was closing. Oh, that's right. The last the last FCK at the Ash or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. R.I.P. Zola. R.I.P. Ash Street. Um, yeah. But yeah, I don't I don't really remember when, but we we hung, we hung out, we got together. We uh we went to a twin uh twinkie wiener eating uh thing out of Forest Grove. Uh um, we was it like we were, was a weird owl show up? Uh, it, no, it was a weird owl uh like uh, appreciation night at some because there's a college out there and some some college group was doing this uh weird owl appreciation. And if you came in and you ate, you got a twinkie wiener sandwich, you got a free beer. I'm like, oh, that's a that's great a deal. Good, that's a great deal. But and we're like, well, we better get there early because free beer and Twinkie Wiener sandwiches. We get yeah. there and we're the only participants of this whole thing <laughs> for hours. And we're sitting there as long as they would let us just continually eating Twinkie Wiener. Uh, we felt, I felt terrible. I felt terrible afterwards. But Twinkie Wiener sandwiches um, and drinking beer in Forest Grove at some college bar um and already as soon as we walked in we're like well we're way too old to be here <laughs> oh no oh they're gonna think we're narcs or or something or we're looking for our kids who are in trouble and uh <laughs> it's like oh god is that the owner um but yeah i uh yeah it's winky wiener sandwiches i'm gonna have to eat one of those in memory of Dola. yeah yeah uh, so how was the twinkie wiener sandwich i had a buddy who ate it once he said it was surprisingly good yeah for it sounds disturbing but it's it's actually really good it's almost cornbready who yeah um i mean meaty because of the hot dog but i mean yeah corn for some reason the cheese and the hot dog and and in a bun and in the wheat and the twinkie and it's just it it makes it taste like cornbread it really does and like really really bad for you cornbread really unhealthy cornbread yeah hey man you know what do they have they ever made a hot dog with a cornbread bun has that ever no. been a thing i don't know but we should i think so we should i think I, that should be a yeah. thing because then you can you can put chili on that too you can put chili you and really cheese could. on that no problem oh my god that would be good yeah. Yeah. If you form it, you, I'm sure you could get a molding of, of the hot dog bun type of thing and, yeah. or even a bread loaf and, and form it and then cut it. And, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, that's just, I, 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 I think that, I think that's like, that's onto something there, man. I think, uh, I think you're onto something. Uh, yeah. I, I'm down for that. I'm down, I'm for, down for that too. But uh, yeah, if you've never had a Twinkie Wiener sandwich, give it a shot. I mean, even one bite uh, uh, it might surprise you. Yeah. Some some people hate it. 
uh, Vanessa, she hated it. Um, yeah. I, because we had them before on the show, and uh, oh, just really? Be, yeah, yeah. People always <laughs> thought we were crazy when we started building them, and um, <laughs> we're like, "Haven't you guys seen UHF?" And then we had to explain UHF to people. How do you and, explain UHF to someone? Um, well, if you start with it, okay, you know who Weird Al Yankovic is, and. <laughs> And they're like, yeah, then you can gauge what era of Weird Al they know Weird Al from. I'm like, okay, what's your favorite song? And sometimes they say uh, uh, um, Fat, which is the yeah. most common uh, if you ask the general public. Uh, fat, I would say, is probably one of his most popular. Um, and then you get people that like his newer stuff. You get people that like his, his original stuff instead of his parodies. I don't know what the point of this was. Oh, explaining UHF. Uh, you ask him and they say, no, Weird Al Yankovic. And I'm like, he made a movie. And uh, and they're like, what was it about? I'm like, well, it's about him inheriting a, a, a UHF TV station. Then you have to explain UHF, UHF TV stations. And back when TVs had stations. And and then it's this whole rabbit hole that you have to start Googling and showing pictures. Um, and, and then you finally get back to, it's funny. And then after you explain it, it's still hilarious. To me, it's hilarious. Uh, the yeah. Chipper Twins in that movie, that they do, they, 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 guys. <laughs> they're, they're, like that movie blows my mind every time I see it. It's just, it's so, it, it, it's ridiculous. And I can't believe it's the only movie that he ever did as a starring role. Um, right. But, uh, but yeah, you try to explain it to people, and it's like finally you like watch it, and they either there's no in between. They either love <laughs> love it or they're just disgusted. They're they're right out of the bat. They just look at you, and you're like, ah, we're in for a ride. Here we go. And those are the people that I like. Uh, but I love the people. I love the people that love it, but I like the people that hate it. Yeah, yeah. And I mean that new movie that he he did was it, like. It, it turned out pretty well. I, like I, I was, I was a good big fan of it. I've never seen anything with I'm Harry Potter. I was ashamed that I haven't seen it yet. Oh I, really? I, Zola sent me the link and everything, and I never got around to watching it. Oh, no. uh, and and uh, I so I I will watch it. I have to watch it because everyone is telling me I need to watch it. And Harry Potter, I guess does. I keep calling it Harry Potter, but I do too. Name? I don't know his name. Daniel Ratcliffe. Daniel yes. Radcliffe, yeah. Uh, he played the corpse in Swiss Army Man. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, but anyway, yeah, anyway. Yeah. yeah, but I heard he does a fantastic job as Weird Al. And uh, it's it's a completely <laughs> fictional history of Weird Al Yankovic. And uh, yeah. 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 And I, U- I need to see it. UHF meets uh, Walk Hard, the Dewey Cox story. Ah, uh, UHF just got be coming back to that. Just a soundtrack. You got radioactive hamsters from a planet near Mars. You got biggest ball of twine in Minnesota, which is my favorite weirdo you can be fun of all time. Uh, really? It's, yeah, oh, yeah. You cool. got Spatula City. You got Gandhi 2. Uh, <laughs> I want to be your hog. I, I, it's, it's some ridiculous shit out there, but. Uh, it, it was his shining, in my opinion. He never. It, and that was his. That, that was his. That was his peak. That, he he yeah. never got worse. He never got worse. But he. It, it's just that was my. That's my favorite album. That's my favorite. Everything about Weird Al Yankovic is is UHF. I I don't know who the fuck you pitched it to, and how do you end up pitching <laughs> that stuff as Weird Al, and uh, just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make this movie. It's gonna be all. You, you know my songs, like. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's like we're gonna parody everything that's on TV at the time, but with my songs and my style, <laughs> and uh, we need like one real actor and then my friends. I think that's yeah. basically it. And someone at the studio, uh, what was it, 1986? Was that about the time? Somewhere. So in there, there. there was probably a lot of cocaine going on, and uh, that one youngster was like, "Come on, Dad, let's give it a shot," and and they <laughs> did, and. Uh, and dad took credit, of course, probably. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I might have to watch yeah. that tonight. I think I might have yeah. to watch that tonight. Um, I, I think I, I might have to watch that as well. I just watched it not too long ago. It pops up a lot on TV. And anytime yes. I saw it, I'll, I'll sit down and watch it till the end. I'm like, oh, hey. UHF's on. I'm that way with Three Amigos, too. I, I, nice. Yeah. 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 It, that one is uh, 
I don't see it on a lot though. If I, I, maybe no. I should. It's really uh, not on a lot, but uh, UHF is. I think yeah. I, I think it's streaming somewhere, and if not, I'll just I'll rent it or something. I I don't care, or I'll I watch the it, weird. I, I should watch the Harry Potter Weird Al movie. Yeah, and I think that's free on the Roku channel or something. Yeah, yes. um, I got the Roku. I got the Roku. Okay, yeah, then yeah, you can you can see Harry Potter do it, man, and uh, and um. Yeah, I watched Three Amigos. I was at this out at this um, like Airbnb out in the middle of nowhere in Wyoming, and um, they had a DVD player with, and I think it was a Mormon place. Um, they were, it was owned by Mormons, and they had like ten DVDs, and one of them was Three Amigos. And I was like, "Well, fucking watching Three Amigos right now." And yeah, yeah, I had to watch. I. I I hadn't I had seen that, it for a while. I had that soundtrack on record. On record? On record. Yes. What's your yes. record collection like? Uh, now it's not as impressive. Let, let's see. Let me let me see what I got. Let me see what I got. I got a lot of Disney stuff from my ex that she didn't take, which is, I guess, okay. It's cool. If I wanted to listen to the soundtrack of Jungle Book. Um, let's let's hey. find my records. Let's find a couple of my records. Yeah, let's see what I got. Pull them out here. All right, that's Disney. Oh, that's not mine. All right, that's not mine. That's... Okay, we got America's Greatest Hits. They've been to the desert oh, with a horse with no name. <laughs> we got Poems, Prayers, and Promises by John Denver. These are things that usually, well, most of them were given to me. Yeah. Um, my actual record collection is no longer alive. Um, Carpenters. Um, and then I got some that are I picked out. Uh, I got uh, uh, Monty Python. Oh, nice. Yeah, I got, uh, let's see. Got Tom Petty, the Heartbreakers, this was given to me as someone at the club. They were like, you seem to like, like Tom Petty. I'm like, I'll take it. And then they also gave me Queen, Greatest Hits. Yeah. And, Just... but this is my favorite record right here. This is. Whoa. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Know. Robin Williams, man. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I dig it. Uh, I just need to get a new record player. So, is our records? Is that your preferred listening? Uh... No, no, I'm not one. Of, I'm not a cinephile. I think they're called. I swear to God, I never pleaded guilty. Uh, no, I'm not a cinephile. Uh, or I think it's cinephile. Is that a movie? Is that the movie? I think one? that's movie. So, uh, autophile. Autophile. I think it is. That, that sounds weird. That sounds like a you're weird gonna thing. you're gonna get a lot of emails. Uh, yeah. Three. Um, but yeah, I, I I I love records. I love that scratchy sound. And uh, but I I, I, I want to hear the music. I want to hear the music. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I love I love records. I just uh, I love the fact that my daughter, 18 years old, for this last Christmas, asked for records and a record player, and uh, so that 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 I. I Bless her heart. You know, she got something for me. So I appreciate that. Yeah, I got that that music, yeah. man. But the records that she wanted, um, oh, I don't even remember what group it was. It'll come to me. Um, but the record that she wanted was like $150. Whoa. And, and it wasn't even an old band. It's like a new band. But they put out a limited release, and and but I'm like 150. Huh, what can I on one record? On one made record, out of gold. It, it was blue. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> blue, blue gold. Uh, I don't remember the name of the band. Uh, but yeah, uh, they're all right. Um, but they're her favorite band. Yeah, I was like, I can't get it for you, so I got her another record. I, I, I got her the soundtrack to Cowboy Bebop um oh cool yeah and uh she was happy with that and she, i think she has the record now and yeah so that's what we do now we try to find records and i'm like you get them cheap and then you know you find out what they're worth and you, you, you hold on to them they're like they're, they're like hmm, i don't know how to describe it they're just heirlooms it's like so my mom my grandmother collected like little miniature things my, my ex-wife collected frog things i I, I collect knickknacks, butt plugs, and records. I, I love them. Uh, I, that's good, man. That's a good combination. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Um, so 
uh, where are people going to find you? Where and which alley are they going to find you? Especially if it's dark uh, and they want to sneak up on you, where are they going to find you? Well, I'm in the uh, an alley called Canton Phoenix and Tigard. Um, yeah, Canton Phoenix and Tigard. Uh, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Uh, I am your karaoke host slash tour guide throughout the evening. Um, and then tonight, starting tonight, um, if it all goes well, hopefully, um, it just should. Um, I'm I'm going to be working at a bar. Literally, if I walked, it would take me maybe if i'm stretching an hour to get to maybe oh okay um walking i mean maybe an hour um that's not bad no not bad i mean that's what an eight dollar uber ride come on yeah man. um but yeah i'm going to be working there tonight but anyway canton phoenix in tiger wednesdays fridays and saturdays um every now and then i do full contact karaoke one will be coming up i'm not sure when but i'll let you know um and that's usually at the trap now that's our kind of new home um it's a bar in, uh 52nd and foster ish oh like yeah. right by uh stripper Oki. yeah right by uh, devil's point uh devil's point. yes yeah yeah it's right okay. like, i mean you can see it from there you're like oh and, there it is and the food um, carts and the food carts at great food carts um let's see what else am i doing I have my show on Shady Pines Radio. Go to shadypinesradio.com or download the app. We have our own app um, every Tuesday, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Emotional Weather never, Report. You'll never forget the time. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, never forget. Um, too soon, never too soon. Um, but yeah, that, I have that going on. Um, I book comedy shows. Uh, we're taking the month of July off. Uh, but I have a monthly residency. Uh, I book at uh, Three Mugs Brewing, which is one of my favorite little breweries in the world. They have like 23 different beers, kombucha, ciders, non-alcoholic, alcoholic, just beers and stuff. They don't have any hard alcohol. Um, Where's that? It's in, right here in Hillsborough. It's literally 20 minute walk from me. Cool. Um, <laughs> it's fan, and it's it's just it. I love the place. Um, the owners are fantastic. The dog friendly family friendly up to a point um bar you know they'd rather have dogs in there than humans um that's cool i don't blame yeah. them. um and great <laughs> irish music when when there's no kind like i said once a month we do comedy and uh we've been doing really good the crowd likes it so it's it's nice that's awesome yeah yeah i, I always liked the, your comedy shows man there are very different than the other comedy shows in town. And that was something I very much appreciated. And mm -hmm. I appreciate you being part of it. I, I remember, and I still tell people about this, the one, the time that you ate bread, you had a loaf of bread and you played what video the... poker while you, and that was your set what basically. The fuck? Yeah, that was your set. <laughs> and I was one of the first times I ever booked you. And uh, I'm you're sorry, like, man. no, no, you you straight up told me you're like, I don't do uh, you know, stereotypical comedy. I'm like, cool, I like shit. He goes, and you and you go, you say something about like, well, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm like, you know what? I love performance art, Andy Kaufman shit. I love it. I love it. The, the stranger, the better. I think I said, and there were like four <laughs> people that really got it, and then we didn't get. I didn't get it, but I got it. And because you were and like, this is this is art. This is performance art. Because he, you were sitting there eating a loaf of bread with nothing to drink, playing video poker with a microphone in your hand, talking to the crowd, but never turning out, hardly ever turning around to look at anyone. <laughs> you just sit there talking and telling <laughs> stupid little jokes, and I loved it, and it was brilliant. And I wish, oh, I wish I I should start recording shit because. Oh, that was brilliant. And it was, where was that? That was that, uh, what Starks, that, phrase? that Starks was there Pub? Rachel's? No. Rachel's, the Mama Son Rachel. Mama place. Son, yeah. Yeah. Shit, man. I, <laughs> oh, man. man. Wow. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll take your word on that. Um, <laughs> you were there. And I have, I have other shit. people that back me up on that. So, yeah. Uh, uh, there, there are a few of us that remember that. Cool. Well, hey, dude, um, 
<laughs> it was great talking with you and let we sh I should uh, talk with you more and keep more in touch, man, because I miss you and it's been a fucking long time, dude. So. I miss you. Next time, let's do this longer. Uh, I, uh, absolutely. We'll, we'll plan it longer. I have to walk to the store and then come back home and then get ready to go to, to karaoke and yeah, busy. Uh, but yeah, no, let's yeah. do it. Let's let's do it cool. again. Um, after I watch the Weird Al movie, uh, I'll let you know how it was. And we'll have a Twinkie Wiener sandwich in memory Perfect. of Zola. I love it. All right. All right. Take, take it easy, buddy. Love you, brother. Love you too, buddy. Dude, fucking Jamie, man. Jamie. Um, dude, and RIP Zola, dude. Fuck, dude. Zola was cool as shit. I liked that guy, man. Um, always fucking nice to me. And uh, yeah, I fucking, I enjoy both their presence. So um, yeah, you guys. So Thank you very much for listening here on the Quantum Global Broadcasting Network, QGBN. Check out the other shows that I co-host. When the Gloves Come Off, the Thinking Man's Pro Wrestling Podcast. This is it with Lizzie and Say by the Ben. Check out past episodes with Jamie Stewart. They're um, on this show back, I want to say like episode 20, somewhere in there probably. This is episode 407 eight so it's been a little bit and like i said yeah i yeah been doing jamie shows for at least a decade so and apparently i ate a loaf of bread while playing video poker comedy guys so um and yeah thank you to our sponsors hardcore entertainment fred ben savages buck stone reads productions hypnosis is great and sock em up .org. And that is the show, man. Boom. I should hit that. Oh, my God. It's Rusty Diamond, motherfucker. It's Rusty Diamond Motherfucker. Ernest! 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 <coughs> yes, Pee Wee. You brought the snacks, right?